Well, good morning, everyone, and happy Saturday. Hope you all are having a good day so far today on the show. I will be doing uh, some more, showing you some more of my steals and deals. And uh, I got some pretty wild stuff at a very good price. Now the test is just to see how well it holds up. Well, while I'm shuffling here, let me uh, show you one of the clips. I just wanted to show you all. This is one of my steals. It's, uh, well, let me show you what it is. It's really cool. I'm getting down as far as I can. This is great, though. At night, turn this on and watch it. It's so relaxing. Plus, it has different settings. I love it. Let me get some, some light out of here. Okay. Yeah, that's even better. But this is so cool. And it was just a couple dollars. See it moving around? It's awesome. As uh, Marad would say, awesome sawsome. Okay, this tapestry is really cool. It's the moon astrology card. Plus, they combined a little uh, tribute to the old black and white silent film, uh, A Trip to the Moon, by uh, Georges Méliès. It's a classic. But... Uh, it's a tapestry, and I only paid a, well, a dollar and a half for it. Steal. So after the reading, I'll be uh, showing some more. Alrighty. Part of the day is today you have the lovers, the threshold, the moment in which everything is possible, but nothing is certain. This card um, is also known as the lover or love. Uh, it corresponds to uh, the numerological six. Um, the astrological sign or planet is Gemini, the twins. The element is air. It represents the Hebrew letter, Zayin. The symbol is the sword. Meaning is soulfulness. On the Tree of Life pathway, it's the seventh between Tipareth and Binah. The chakra is the heart chakra for love and healing. And the key meaning is love and relationships, 
maturity and decisions. And this card is all about uh, harmony, love, trust, honor, uh, joy, uh, the fulfillment of desires, uh, possibly a new relationship. Or uh, a new stage in one that's already existing right now. And I pulled out the Wiccan runes to see what might go with this. Okay. Once again, we have romance. Something's going on here. The heart strings are being tugged. Um, this uh, represents the Trinity, like the triple goddess, uh, the cycles of life, death, and birth. And uh, they say... It's supposed to look like a trillium flower, you know, as if uh, someone has offered it to you in a, in a loving gesture. Um, the three loops join together in sharp points representing the pains of coming together. Now, believe it or not, this is a negative thing because this has become... Uh, way over the top this romance is so strong it's bordering on obsessive perhaps um, although uh, sex and romance might be um, going on It's like uh, two different people are being pulled together, kind of almost opposites. And it's in one union and squabbling's going on. And, uh, you know, people with different points of view are now trying to come together and see things as one. And you know reconciliation is trying to go on but there may be spite or jaded attitudes going on um there's a raw magnetic attraction that draws people so while good it can be a bad thing so uh yeah it depends on how far you want to let this passion go I'd never seen one so strongly. This would have been like perfect for Valentine's Day. But uh, yeah, this just screams love, love, love. But it doesn't have to be necessarily, you know, a sexual partner. It could be. And if it is, it's going to get intense. But. It could be a, just a close friend, um, just somebody you just have a real passion for and not necessarily in a sexual way. Woo! <laughs> Damn. That reading's so hot I can feel the heat off of it. Someone's having some fun. <laughs> anyway... And I think the reason why they they call the, this card a negative one is because it kind of represents more of a carnal thing instead of a soulful thing. Although it can be quite heavenly, but uh, that's another topic. <laughs> but uh, it's supposed to be, um, you know, 
a bad thing if you, if you think about it being as a carnal thing, uh, a thing of lust, a thing of, you know, and not so much of your soul, of your spiritual nature, if that makes any sense to you all. Anyway, back to those steals and deals. Check out some more. Okay. Welcome to my steals and deals of the day. First, I'm going to start off with this neat little pocket watch. It's based on the Nightmare Before Christmas, and you pop the top, and you have Jack Skellington in there. Now, the only problem with this watch is look at the hands. <laughs> I didn't notice this till just recently. The hands are a little bit loose. I'm going to have to try to take it apart and see if I can tighten them up a little bit. If I can, this was a steal. If I can't fix it, then... Wah, wah, wah. I got stolen. Okay. Next up, got this nifty little razor. I'm going to use on my beard. A neat part of it is, I don't know if you can see, it's got Buddha on it. Real nice, metallic. And these are pretty good clippers. Uh, they seem to be uh, able to take my beard. I have a heavy beard, and uh, they seem to be able to take it without um, pulling or anything. So uh, hopefully, and I got uh, they, they got plastic blades with them too, or covers. What do you want to call them? Length determiners or? Whoa, whatever. Okay. I'll check out these. I got these. I ordered one and I got two instead. And what they are is uh, mixers, hand mixers. Oh, I'm messing up my, my cloth. which I thought was pretty cool. I don't have to use the electric ones all the time. Dirty them up. Okay, for my next steal and deal. Check it out. It's a metal detector. Cute little thing. It's not practical, really, because the handle's too short on it. It doesn't have the extended pole. But uh, just to play around with, I thought it might be fun, and it was uh, under $10. So I say, uh, looks like I got a steal here. Now, check out these other steels I have. Wow, look at these huge chalices I got. <laughs> and that's all the bigger they are. steals or deals I got junk <laughs> oh well they're still cute oh yeah 
And while I'm at it, here are those goblets. <laughs> They're huge. <laughs> if you were a flea, maybe. There's the blue one. Well, that's all I have for today. So I hope you all have a blessed day. Um, peace. Believe because the spirits are out there. And uh, this video I'm editing. Whew, you're going to see. Some pretty spooky stuff going on. The more I review it, the more interesting it gets. But anyway, yes, believe. And until tomorrow, have a blessed day. Bye-bye.